Hello and welcome to the garden. Shock can happen to plants for many different reasons. Like with this orange seduction hibiscus, it was stored in the garage during the winter and spring, um, the first part of the spring, and so it's acclimating to its summer environment here. And so the leaves have turned yellow, but the new leaves on it you can see the tiny little leaf right there. It's green. And it's been given some transplant shock um, treatment. So and I think it'll, just, it'll be fine. Um, we've had it for a few years now, and so it goes through this process. There are other forms of shock that may be a little bit more drastic, a little bit more, I don't know. And that, one of them I want to talk about in particular today is transplant shock. And that can happen when you want to move a plant to a new location and it's just what is going on. I don't know what's going on. And that is exactly what happened to this Fuyu persimmon tree. It has a little bit of a backstory and it is quite bare, as you can see. The planting site it was in before had standing water around it. And I did a little investigating, did a little digging, literally, and found gallons of water around the roots. And it was, oh no, it's, it's already spring, what do I do? It's broken, it's dormancy. I had to move it. I had to go ahead and move it, otherwise it was going to drown. So I did move it, and immediately, no. <laughs> it just, it, the leaves dropped. They... Uh, had some dead branches. I cut those off. I waited a little bit. I gave it some transplant shock. Um, formula also. But it's been looking a little bare. My husband asked about it. It has special meaning for us. It was his engagement gift. So I didn't want to give up on it. The dragonflies have been perched on it. The as well as as birds. Um, we've already had some hummingbirds visiting our yard. Um, so I didn't want to just give up on it. And so I thought, let's give it a chance. And so I have good news, very good news. I saw new growth. So there, it's alive, thank goodness. It's, it's still going. So there are signs of new growth on it. Oh, oh God, I don't know if you can see that, if you can pick that up. It's very, 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 very tiny. The growth, it's out of focus, but hopefully I'll be able to do, do a new video and I'll show you what the big leaves look like on it, but there are so many of them. Here we go right there. I don't want to disturb them anymore. Um, usually with fruit trees, when you're transplanting them, they may have a big question mark about the transplanting. It's best to do it during its dormancy, but if you have a problem and something's going on and the environment needs to be changed, you just you have to do it. And just take the leap of faith that, you know, you're doing the right thing for it and hopefully it will recover. And I've been transplanting a few things, so I'll just paint over and walk to it, to this rose. I was going to talk about it some other time, but this rose, I have to get out here and do a little maintenance. This is a David Austin rose, and supposedly David Austin roses do not like our climate. It is very humid here, and the temperature fluctuations are, ugh. And David Austin roses are British rose. So they're used to more of a colder environment than we have here in Louisiana. But it was transplanted also, and look at it. It's, it's a little bit of clipping, but it's just fine. So that's why I say give it some time. This too. We actually, we transplanted a lot of things. We do musical plants in our yard quite frequently. So I have faith that this persimmon tree is going to be just fine. 
and typically I use a miracle Grow formula. You don't have to. You can make your own. Um, but there's a miracle Grow transplant shock formula. And just mix it according to the directions, according to what you have. And just give it a try and see if it works for you. Just looking at these hibiscus. There you go. So that is wonderful news that I think it's going to be okay. And if it was not going to be okay, we we're going to use this nice, wonderful sculpture we have as a nice, wonderful thing for Mardi Gras beads. You know, just we we're going to use it. So we weren't going to give up on it. So there you go. I think it'll be just fine. So thank you guys for watching and just keep the faith and good luck with your transplanting needs out there. Thanks for watching.